321 runs of Dark Fall Solus. That was how many runs it took for me to finally get my Flugel Guard weapon to drop. So yes, as you guys saw from the title, I did get a Flugel Guard sword to drop and I instantly sold it. So I do have a good amount of Masetta now. But before we jump into the rest of the video, if you're new to the channel, I upload NGS content daily. So if you do play this game, I would really appreciate a subscribe as it really helps out the channel. Anyway, without further ado, Let's begin the video. So the very first thing I want to say is big shout out to Matt over here for purchasing my Flugel Guard sword. They actually DM'd me earlier. They were like, oh, could you lower the price a little bit? Because I was selling it at 110 million and they were only willing to pay 100 million. And I was like, you know what? It's not a big deal. You know, Flugel Guard weapon, 100 million. It's still a very substantial amount of money. Um, as you guys might see here, I only got 90 million, and so you guys might be wondering where on earth the other 10 million went, and that is the Sega tax. So uh, when you do sell items on the player shop, just keep in mind our Sega overlords do take 10%, and that's how the player shop works. So uh, you do need to be a little bit careful if you are trying to profit off the player market, because a Sega eats that hefty 10%. The higher the price the item, the more money it is. 10 million Masetta isn't something to just sneeze at, it's a big chunk of money. So, um, yeah, unfortunately, I only got 90 million, but nevertheless, it is what it is. So the next thing I want to go over are all the different boosts that are active right now on the server. As we can see, if we go over to Sign of the Planet Breaker and rank 1, well, there's only rank 1, you can see that we do get a rare drop rate increase of 100%, as well as the Fixa drop rate plus 100%. Very strange that I didn't get a Fixa on my Flugel Guard sword, even with this 100% boost. You know, I'm not really mad because, you know, I've been farming for like 300 plus runs. I just wanted to get a Flugel Guard, and I did sell it for 100 million. And so, you know, how can I complain? I'm pretty happy about it, to be honest with you guys. But nevertheless, rare drop rate is still a lie. This fix a preset upgrade rate thingy is also a lie. So, yeah. But Sega is trying really hard to entice us to play this week because they even gave us an urgent quest schedule. So as we can see over here under events and campaigns, pre-announce urgent quests with campaign boost. And as we can see over here, there is a schedule of all the different urgent quests. Keep in mind, every single urgent quest here is going to be omen of the planet breaker it just so happens that's where you get your flugel guard so they really want to encourage you to take full advantage of this extra rdr boost um personally i still think rdr is a lie because it still took me 321 runs in order to get my flugel guard but nevertheless you know that is quote unquote above average since you're supposed to get your flugel guard after like 460 runs or something along those lines so nevertheless, I am pretty happy that I didn't have to go all the way to hard pity, even though it's not really hard pity. That's just the average. Um, but you know, so my luck is above average, basically. But nevertheless, I will leave the schedule in the description below because it does auto convert to your time zone. And so that way you'll know when there is Omen of the Planet Breaker or when there's an urgent quest so that you can just make time for it. Now, obviously, you shouldn't be waking up at two in the morning to do your Omen of the Planet Breaker, especially if it is a weekday and you at work um, it's not really worth it i know there's a lot of boost going on and literally you just saw me get a flugel guard but nevertheless i think the drop rate is still abysmally low the reason i got mine is just by pure chance like just raw luck that is really all i can chalk it up to i don't think the average player even if you do every single urgent quest in the schedule over here you are definitely not guaranteed a flugel guard i think maybe one percent of the player base will get a flugel guard if they did every single urgent quest in this schedule over here so uh you know just don't go out of your way to do it but if the stars align and is just conveniently at a time that you do have time to play then definitely hop on and do it now do keep in mind that these are just the scheduled ones there are unscheduled urgent quests as well as you can see over here from my 12 p.m which is my noon all the way to 9 p.m this nine hour window there's absolutely nothing well it just so happens there were a bunch of unscheduled urgent quests that actually happened within this nine hour window so just because the schedule says that there's no urgent quest happening in that time period does not mean there is absolutely zero percent chance of an urgent quest from happening so just keep that in mind 
Now on top of the scheduled Urgent Quest, this week we also have a campaign boost for Omen of the Planet Breaker, where we do get additional item drops, and that is of course the 9-star Melek weapons. So uh, if you are looking for a Melek weapon with a Fixa, I think this might be the best place to farm for it. You know, maybe in your off time you can farm the Dread enemies as well as the uh, Starless enemy if you want. However, if you don't want to invest that much time into farming these Melek weapon series, you can always just pop in and just do Omen of the Planet Breaker whenever it's available and I think you do have a relatively high chance of getting a Malik weapon. Now, is it going to be the right Malik weapon for you? Probably not. And is it going to have the right fixer that you want? Also, probably not. But nevertheless, if you just want a Malik weapon without investing too much time, I think the Urgent Quest is probably your best bet. The next thing I want to talk about is, of course, the limited time quest, as we can see here, Drill Cave Cleanup Operation. So the first thing I want to go over are, of course, the in-quest effects. So there is the campaign boost. It does apply to the limited time quest. So you do get the rare drop rate plus 100% as well as the fixer drop rate plus 100%. And in this limited time quest, the main thing you're actually going to be looking for are going to be the Octo Armors Arga Belt and Chezas. These armors have actually gone up in price significantly. They've actually doubled in price on ship 2 simply because there hasn't been a surefire way or a consistent way to farm for these armors. And uh, well, the LTQ is probably one of the best ways to farm for these armors right now. It's just a pain in the butt because I don't really like this limited time quest that much. But the loot itself is okay. You know, you've got your Defi capsules over here. You have arms refiners as well as arms refiners too. Your photon chunks 2A and 2B. Your octo armors is the main thing that I would look at. And of course the Melek weapon series. But yeah, this limited time quest just doesn't really interest me. It's not very fun in my personal opinion. I just never really like defending truck coon that much i think i'm just not good at any of the defense missions you know when it's just like go kill a bunch of things i'm okay with that but when you gotta defend something i'm just not very good at that and it's just not really my cup of tea However, other than the limited time quest, something that I encourage a lot of people to take advantage of, especially if you're in your mid game, is La Seal Exploration. The reason for this is because as we can see right here in quest effects, this is one of the few times where the campaign boost actually works in La Seal Exploration. As we can see here, the rare drop rate plus 100% as well as the fixer drop rate plus 100% is actually active here. I do highly recommend people to take full advantage of this in order to get a bunch of your LC capsules. They don't feature the LC capsules here for some reason, but nevertheless, the seal exploration is the place to farm for all of your LC capsules. And since you do have this 100% RDR boost, it actually significantly increases the amount of LC capsules you get as well as the quality of LC capsules, because I know there are some more rare LC capsules, which a lot of people are struggling to get so it's probably a good time to take full advantage of this week especially if you do get good modifiers my favorite is still the normal attack one so you literally just hold down normal attack and you deal like 9,000 dps or something it's absolutely insane that one is probably my favorite set of modifiers but nevertheless the seal exploration don't sleep on it if you need lc capsules take full advantage of this week now, of course, if you do enjoy Dread Farming as well as the Starless boss, you can always just go to Makita and just keep farming here because, again, you also get all of the boost effects over here. This week is really just good boost and you can farm wherever you want, basically. That's the TLDR. But personally, for me, I'm actually going to be taking it very easy this week because next week, I know for a fact I'm going to be farming incredibly hard in NGS. So this week is kind of my quote unquote detox week. So I'm going to be playing a lot of Genshin Impact. I actually just finished the Archon quest in Fontaine. I have mad respect for Farina now, and I'm glad that I actually pulled for her. But Genshin Impact has definitely been eating a lot of my time this week, simply because I just wanted to catch up and I've got to do all the explorations, all the new side quests, as well as the side stories and all of that stuff. So that's going to be my main focus this week. As uh, in NGS, I'm just really going to be taking it easy. I'll log in whenever there's an urgent quest, and then I'll log in to do my dailies. And then that's pretty much all I'm going to be doing this week. Because again, I'm saving my energy. I don't want to burn myself out this week because I know next week is when there's a lot of new content to farm for. And that is when I'm going to go really hard on NGS. So this week, super easy. Going to be playing Genshin Impact. Going to catch up on a bunch of games that I bought on Black Friday on Steam. I actually bought like four different games. So I need to beat all of that. And um, yeah, so I'm just not going to be playing that much NGS this week. So that's pretty much my game plan. But let me know in the comment section below, what are you guys planning to do this week? Special thanks to all the members for supporting the channel. It really means a lot to me. Thank you again. 
But yeah, that's all I wanted to cover in today's video. Hopefully you guys found it helpful. If you did, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.